WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. This is National Little League Week. And in the studio with us, if you're watching on Facebook, you can see them all. Uh, members of uh, Indiana's Little League programs, boys and girls, in the studio. And we're going to talk with some of them here this morning. And we're glad they're here. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Tell you what let's do. Uh, let's get the adults over at this microphone to my right. Uh, and and all of the the kids can come to my microphone to the left, and we'll have everybody just introduce themselves first, so people on the air know who's talking, and uh, then we'll go from there. In fact, uh, we can pull this microphone down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. You see, you look like a radio pro. You know what you're doing, huh? Uh, let's get the adults to introduce themselves first for our radio and and our Facebook listeners. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Todd. My name is Brian Force. I'm the VP of Operations for Indiana Little League. And? Uh, good morning, Todd. Uh, I'm Joe Walkovich. I'm uh, Treasurer of Indiana Little League and uh, District Administrator for District 7 for a pretty long time. Actually. For a pretty long time. <laughs> About four decades. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a pretty long time. So everybody needs to get pretty close to the microphone. Uh, and you can each introduce yourself, tell us who you play for, and uh, the Facebook camera's over there if you want to say hi or wave to anybody like that. Go ahead. My name is Bruce Forrest, and I play for East American Little League. <laughs> My name is Bentley Gavazzi, and I play for East American Little League. My name is Chase Brocious, and I play for East American Little League. My name is Max Jr., and I play for Indiana Optimus Club. My name is AJ Pine, and I play for McDonald's. My name is Samantha Martin, and I play for Krill. Uh, my name is Ben Steven. I play for Colonial Motors. There you go. All right, so everybody get out your big voice like you're yelling at your teammates because we need you to speak up just a little bit more. Uh, and, Brian, let's start with you uh, and uh, and talk a little bit about what National Little League Week means for folks because this is this is an exciting time, especially Little League around Indiana County. It's really big now, isn't it? It is definitely an exciting time for baseball around Indiana County, Todd. There's no doubt about it. With what we had going on at IUP, uh, sending off the boys this morning to the high school state game. Uh, it all starts with uh, these kids started, you know, at the field with Indiana Little League. So definitely, definitely exciting stuff. Yeah, it re it really is. And you're right. You know, IUP plays championship level baseball. We've got Indiana playing for a state championship today, uh, and and all of those guys they started right down here at this level. Absolutely, Little League is the the start, the base, the fundamentals really for. Everyone out there playing baseball today, college, uh, major league baseball level, they all started somewhere, and, and most of them it's with a little league organization. Yeah, absolutely. Joe, come on up, uh, and, and you can weigh in on this as well, because uh, you've seen uh, a ton of young kids come through and uh, do some really special things when they got to be older uh, as, as baseball players. But it, it really is exciting uh, to see what they do, even at this level. It really is. Uh... Little League has morphed as a program several times in the last 30-plus years. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of kept up with the times. Uh, I'm proud to say that you can see the softball representation we have here. We're in our 26th year of Little League softball, which yeah. didn't exist when Little League started back in 47. Charter Little League in Indiana started in 52. Uh, I feel like I've been here that long <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, these kids make it special, and this really, I sometimes wonder why I still do this, and if you want the answer to that, there's only one, and you can count them. There they are. And the rest of their uh, counterparts. There so they are. Well, it's really nice uh, that you've taken the opportunity or give them the opportunity to participate uh, in this event today. Thank yeah, well, we want to talk with them. Come on up, everybody, once more, uh, and one by one, we'll have you introduce yourself again and tell us about your, your ball-playing experience uh, and... and uh, uh, you are first. Good morning. Say say who you are again. My name is Chris Force. And and you play for East American. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me what do you play? Uh, I'm I play second base, catch and sometimes pitch. Yeah. Yeah. So what's what's exciting about Little League for you? What is what's the fun aspect of it? Uh it's a good time to hang out with your friends and play baseball. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing like playing ball, is there? Yeah, it's 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 really a special thing, uh, and and you get to play with your buddies and uh, and and meet some new friends too, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty exciting stuff. 
Yeah. Uh, come on up. Let, let's meet some more of our type. Uh, I guess you'll either have to lean down or pull the microphone up. Okay, you are. Uh, I'm Max Drew. And, and you play for? I play for Indiana Optimist Club. The Indiana Optimist. How long have you been playing? Uh, since I was four, so ten years. Since you were about that big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're a little bit bigger than that now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so you've got a lot of little league experience. So what's it like for you? What it, how, what's fun about it for just you? Fun to play with my teammates and all my friends from school and just playing baseball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What positions do you play? Uh, I play everywhere, but mostly shortstop, mm -hmm. pitcher, and catcher. Mm -hmm. Are you better, or do you enjoy it more with the bat in your hand or a glove on your hand? Uh, it's close, but I'll probably say pitching. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what it is for you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, terrific, terrific. All right, let's meet somebody else. Good morning. I'm Jace. I play for East American. Uh-huh. Come on up a little bit closer. There we go. There we go. What do you play? A shortstop and pitcher. Uh-huh. So I'll ask you the same question. A bat or a glove, which do you prefer? I think a glove. I like pitching. Pitching oh, yeah. and shortstop. Yeah, yeah. It, it's something else, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, to be, to be able to be out there on the mound or at shortstop when the ground ball comes your way. Uh, and the ability to play with uh, your your buddies uh, on a ball team, that's really special, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what about baseball uh, attracts you to the game? What, what's the, what's the, the funner aspects of, of Little League, especially? Just to, like, get to hang out with your friends and play a game that you like to play baseball. And, yeah. It's, it's a good time. It's a good time. Terrific. All right, let's, let's meet another. Good morning. My name's Bentley Gavazzi. I play for East American. You play for East American, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, how long have you been playing? Nine years. And uh, what positions do you play? Catcher and, like, left field. Oh, you're a catcher. Let me see your hands. Oh, they're not beat up at all. The season must be young. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but catching is, is a special art, isn't it? You get to, mm -hmm. you get to catch these guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what made you want to put on, they call them the tools of ignorance, what made you want to put on the catching equipment? Just, I get to have the ball, like, basically every play. Uh-huh, yeah, and, and you get to, uh, you get to uh, be in there, in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the box, watching, watching these guys pitch. Uh, so, uh, years of playing a ball, how many? Nine. Nine years, nine years, uh, and, uh, and you're having fun with it. Mm -hmm. Terrific, terrific. All right, who's next coming up to visit with us this morning? Good morning. Morning. Now, Indiana softball, Little League softball, done some really cool things over the last couple of years too, haven't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, so you are? A.J. Putt and I play for McDonald's. You play for McDonald's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What, what do you play? I play catcher. You're a catcher too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, oh, man. I mean, uh, it, it's so much fun to watch you guys play. Uh, and, and I recall doing a, a game or two last year, uh, and, and you were in the game. Uh, and, and it was so much fun to watch you guys. You, you, that whole team aspect is so much fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So what appeals uh, to you about softball? Um, my dad inspires me to play and, like, pushes me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're having a good time with it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I get to make friends and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Come on up. You're next. Good. I'm Samantha Martin. I play for Krill. Uh, you play for Krill. All right. What do you play? Pitcher, shortstop, and third. Wow. Uh, so you get out there too. Yeah. Um, pitching in softball uh, is uh, it's an art, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. When you first tried it, um, think back to then, uh, and then compare that to where you are now. There's a big difference. I couldn't pitch the ball across the plate when back then. Yeah. Yeah, getting the wind-up down and all of that and finding that consistency of form, that's not an easy thing to do, is it? No. Yeah, yeah. So to, you're having fun with it? Yeah. Yeah. Same question I'll ask you as, as I asked a couple of the guys. A bat or a glove, which would you prefer? A glove. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you like to play D? Yeah. Yeah, terrific. Hey, congratulations on, Thank you. on the season. And, Mr. Steve, I guess you're, you're the next and the last of the – Yeah. Folks that we're talking to this morning. Uh, I'm Ben Steve, and I play for Colonial Motors. You do. Uh -huh. What do you play? Uh, I play like infield and pitcher and catcher. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, pitching, catching. Which would you prefer? Um, pitching because if I don't catch the ball, I get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> certainly. Coach? Yeah. Certainly not your dad. Your dad wouldn't do such a thing, would he? Mm. <laughs> Maybe he, he would. 
Tell me about playing Little League Baseball, though. Is it fun um, for you? It's fun playing under the lights, late games. Uh-huh. It, like, I like playing on turf because it's nice and yeah. we, we get to play during the rain. Yeah, well, it, that's that's a great, great point. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying it, uh, and uh, and thanks for coming in this morning. I appreciate yep. that. Thank you. Uh, Brian Force, uh, Force Turf Solutions, uh, uh, your company has actually made it possible for folks to uh, play some baseball when the weather turns bad, which uh, it frequently does. Uh, but uh, uh, that's a part of this whole experience of playing ball here in Indiana, isn't it? Yeah, it was definitely, we were fortunate enough to uh, divest some of our oil and gas company back in March of 2019 and uh, partnered with uh, C.J. Spadafore and Colonial Motor Marts to uh, turf the fields. Being, playing baseball, you know, all over the state, we could see the value in having synthetic turf fields and not having to cancel games. So, yeah, I think it was a big, big plus for the area, big plus for the community, and as you can see, the kids love playing on it, so. Now, we've got um, the tournament season coming up now, right? Yes. Yeah, and and it's starting later this month. And, yeah. and, 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 Ten days. <laughs> Joe, Joe just went, oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe, it is, it's quite a challenge to, to put it on, uh, but I know that uh, with the support of all of the sponsors, and, and we need to mention all of the uh, different organizations that sponsor teams, uh, the hard work that goes into it from the adults to make sure the kids get to play ball. It's really important, isn't it? It is, and this town's been blessed with sponsors, and uh, this guy's way too humble for what he's done to improve the league and the facilities in Indiana specifically, which benefits the other leagues in the district as well because when you run a tournament, you have a confined timeline to complete, mm -hmm. rain, shine, or whatever. And a lot of times those games that get rained out end up in Indiana. Thank God for the turf. Thank God for the lights because that's how we get them in. This year should be particularly exciting. We have in a district six of eight section game section tournaments that will be hosted on top of the district tournaments. That all kicks off on the 24th of this month. Uh, well, actually, these girls will be center stage. Uh, the 12U and uh, uh, not slang, of course, little league slang, and 14U, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be playing against West Suburban uh, first night in Indiana on the 24th, 6 and 8, followed by, uh, no, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Second night in West Suburban, and then a coin toss for the, and that'll be a really, really, I kind of think you might be there to watch that one. <laughs> a really, really good game. But uh, across the board, um, we have district and section games. 8U, 10U, 12U, uh, junior, you know, junior baseball, and what they call 50-70, which is an intermediate division, 50-foot mm -hmm. mound, 70-foot bases. But, yeah, very fortunate. Nice, uh, you know, there's kind of part of mine from 100 years ago by the door there in, in, <laughs> in form of Mark. Um, but it's great to see the program survive. It has morphed uh, back in the day. I think we had baseball only 9 to 12. Currently in Indiana Little League, we started at 4 ball frame up through 16 um, so and softball from uh, six through 14 yeah so it's been a lot of fun ton of ball it is ton of ball and uh, yep. and it really the tournament season getting started now and uh, so we're talking Indiana high baseball today for the state yeah, championship sure. but uh, baseball goes on uh, through these summer months it does and I might add that with Brian's help here he's organized a uh, nice plus load of Indiana Little League players that are going to that game to support the high school team yeah. because that's kind of where it starts and where, where it ends at least through high school. They'll be getting on the Connecting bus pretty the soon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They will. All right, Brian, folks want to support Indiana Baseball Little League, Softball Little League. What should they do? Yeah, just reach out to us on Facebook if you want to sponsor. I mean, there's a there's such a large list, Todd, of sponsors that we have in the community. Too, too much to to rattle off here today, but we appreciate the support from all of them, whether it be through a field sign or a, or a team sponsor. Um, and in the league, we have, uh, I think, right around 400 uh, baseball and softball players, so there's somewhere around 20,000 people that uh, flow through the fields over there. So if you want to sponsor, reach out to us on Facebook, reach out to me, Indiana Little League, uh, at gmail.com, or just stop over to the ballpark pretty much any given night of the week, Monday through Friday, between 6 and 10 p.m., there's uh, hot dogs in the concession stand and a game being played. There you go. There you go. In fact, I was coming back uh, last night from being out of town, and as I was driving through Climber, lights were on. They were yeah. playing Little League ball there. Yep. That time of year. 
Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for coming in to visit with us today. It is National Little League Week, and Little League is very, very strong here in Indiana County. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank God. It's Indiana in the morning. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Jake in the newsroom coming up next. Hi, everyone. This is Clint. And Galen. From GCES. Join us this Monday morning at 8, 10 a.m. on Indiana in the Morning. We're going to discuss everything you need to know to get to retirement and beyond. It doesn't matter what stage of life you're in. We can answer all of your questions and help you get your finances in.